Hi, welcome to Steaks 101, The Perfect Grill Marks. You know, you eat with your eyes before you eat with your mouth. That's why it's so important that your steak looks as great as it tastes. Today we're going to show you a technique to make crosshatch grill marks like you would find in your favorite steakhouse restaurant. Not only do the crosshatch grill marks look nice, but they also increase the seared area of the steak, giving you that bold charred flavor that we all love. Okay, first we need to get the steaks ready to put on the grill. We've already removed these from the box, thawed them, and removed them from the plastic wrapping. Next, we're going to blot them with a clean paper towel to remove any excess juice. Now we're going to brush them with some olive oil and then season them. We recommend using some good salt and black pepper at a bare minimum, but you can also use one of our seasoning blends, such as our all-natural steak seasoning right here. We're going to use a little salt and pepper here. We've got some sea salt and black pepper. And we're going to season and oil both sides of the steak. Now we've got our steaks ready, we want to prepare our grill. What we've done here is we've preheated the grill on high and we've cleaned the grates real well. We want to put a little bit of oil on the grates so that they don't stick. I'm going to go ahead now and put the steaks on the grill. I want to place them at a little bit of an angle. And what we're going to do is we're going to cook them approximately a quarter of the time and then rotate them 90 degrees. Okay, now we've cooked them about a quarter of the time. We're going to go ahead and, and rotate them, and that's going to give us that diamond or crosshatch effect that we're trying to get. Okay, now we've got our steaks flipped over, and we've got some nice crosshatch marks. On the second side, we can also make crosshatch marks, but since your guests aren't going to see the second side, it's not as important. If, by chance, you didn't get nice marks on the first side, you can always try again on the second side. Okay, now we've cooked our steaks to the perfect doneness. We're taking them off the grill, and we're going to put them on a clean platter or cutting board and let them rest for at least five minutes. It's very important that we allow our steaks to rest before we cut into or serve the steaks because this allows the juices to redistribute evenly through the steaks so we have an even doneness all the way through. Now you can see these beautiful crosshatch grill marks and the good searing that we have on these steaks. Your guests are sure to be impressed if you use this technique at your next barbecue.